For lawyers, time is limited. What if you could expand time by changing your relationship to it? Welcome to the new Billable Hour podcast, transforming the way you think about time in your law practice and life. And now, here's your host, lawyer and best-selling author, Ritu Goswami. Hello, welcome to episode eight of the new Billable Hour podcast. Today's topic is saving time by transforming conflict. So first, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this episode, Cindy Singh, realtor for Keller Williams Bay Area Estates with offices in San Jose, Los Gatos, Carmel, Los Altos, and Monterey, California. Cindy works with family law attorneys to help assist clients going through a divorce and dealing with real property. Cindy will provide you with information and options to help better assist in making an informed decision when it comes to divorce and real property. Cindy Singh can be reached at 831-801-1240 or by email at cssingh at kw.com. Again, that phone number is 831-801-1240 or by email c-s-s-i-n-g-h at kw.com. Wonderful, let's start. As usual, we're gonna start with three breaths. So exhale everything, and let's take a breath together. Inhale, and exhale. Again, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Great, you've arrived. So today, I'm going to teach you how to save time in an unconventional way. So instead of trying to do things faster, how about looking at things differently? So this is episode eight of this podcast, and if you've been listening to the other episodes, you know that I talk about changing how we think about time, right? So as a lawyer and a curious person, I'm very interested in conflict. Now, I know many lawyers who are actually, who actually don't like conflict. I have lots of lawyer friends who are like, I don't like conflict. And, and so I'm not saying as a lawyer, you like conflict. However, as lawyers, we're almost always in the middle of conflict, right? It's, it's part of the job. Like usually there's a disagreement or misunderstanding between two people, two entities, and we're here to help resolve it and find some kind of successful outcome, (laughs) Um, hopefully for everyone. Um, And we might fight it out through litigation. We might mediate it through agreement. And if we're lucky, we might be the ones preventing conflict before it happens by putting safeguards in place. Being a lawyer is so multidimensional And I get so excited when I think about what we do, seriously. But back to conflict. Unfortunately, the primary conflict for which your client came to you uh, is not the problem, is not the thing taking your time away, right? Because that is actually what you're doing. Your time is taken by administrative inefficiencies, miscommunication, red tape, and systemic inadequacies. Like, big things and also little things. And so these can manifest as conflicts to your goal of swiftly resolving a case, right? You get a case and you're like, cool, this is what I need to do. You're smart, you're a great lawyer. And then all these things come in the way. And that is what causes causes a lot of pain. Um, I've seen it, I've experienced it. So you don't want them there, regardless, they're there. Uh, What if, what if, (laughs) I ask what if a lot, what if you could transform that conflict into something productive. So what if the parts of your job that suck your time and energy could be used to create something better? It's kind of strange, right? I'll say that again. What if the parts of, their, parts of your job that suck your time and energy could be used to create something better? So conflict is a natural part of life where, where mo- everything is moving and changing, it's dynamic, and conflict is just there, right? Conflict um is energy that's just not fitting just right at the moment right there's some discrepancy and so if we lawyers can transform that conflict energy into something useful imagine how that model could help our clients so that's just a byproduct 
So when there's a conflict feeling in your law firm, maybe it's difficulty with opposing counsel or with a client, how about saving time by looking at it from a different perspective? So for example, how about instead of pushing back directly on that conflict, um, which is a definitely a time and energy drain, all that pushing, right? Uh, we take a moment to respond differently. So I am currently training in Aikido and I imagine other martial arts are similar. The ultimate goal is not about overtaking our opponent, you know, putting like more pressure on them, <laughs> right? From if they're coming at us with a certain amount of energy, putting more energy out to defeat them. Actually, we're learning how to redirect the conflict. We're learning how to resolve the conflict um, without hurting our opponent, without also hurting ourselves, without giving too much, right? Just using, using that to create something else, perhaps create collaboration, perhaps create some sense of um, connection, right? With the, with the people we are encountering where there's a conflict. We actually make conflict so we can practice. That's, that's what we do in, in martial arts, right? So um, in Aikido and I imagine other other martial arts um, and in the practice of law, if we, if we center ourselves, right? If we can center ourselves, we can see clearly that the conflict lies outside of us. And so we don't have to let in, right? If we're not centered, we're going to be pulled in a lot of different directions. Like I, I said many times, um, we'll be chasing after things, we'll be grabbing. Uh, but if we know who we are and we stay grounded we can see the conflict for what it is and it's not like this direct attack on us, right? It's energy. And if by looking at that energy differently, we can transform it into something manageable, right? It's not going to go away and even useful. Um, you know, the, it could be actually information, right? If, if a client is pushing back about something, maybe that's information about what they need, what they're going through, something that has not been addressed, maybe something you can make better and how you're serving them. Um, something or something on a really bigger level that we don't even know, right? Because we, we're not able to get there because we're so caught up in, the, in that moment or that conflict, right? So um, this transformation is changing it, right? As opposed to something that we have to push against, get rid of, it's kind of welcoming it and being like, what can I learn from this? How can I use this to get to the next level, to, to learn something, to um, create something, to help the client spend their energy better, right? Instead of fighting it and fighting it. I know that's habit and it's how the legal system has been set up, but what if we transformed it? What if we transform conflict into something useful? And yes, that transformation will save you so much precious time. I'm getting choked up. Imagine the time we save and the things we can create if we just look at conflict differently. So those are my thoughts for today. Thank you for listening. Let's um, close with our three breaths. So exhale everything. Let's digest everything I talked about. Deep inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Thank you so much. And thank you again to the sponsor of this episode, Cindy Singh, realtor for Keller Williams Bay Area Estates with offices in San Jose, Los Gatos, Carmel, Los Altos, and Monterey, California. Cindy works with family law attorneys to help assist clients going through a divorce and dealing with real property. Cindy will provide you with information and options to help better assist in making an informed decision when it comes to divorce and real property. Cindy Singh can be reached at 831-801-1240. Again, that's 831-801-1240 or by email at c s s i n g h at kw.com again that's c as in cat s s i n g h at kw.com thank you so much thank you for being with us on the new billable hour podcast with your host ritu goswami subscribe to the podcast wherever you like to listen 
to get your free copy of the New Billable Hour book and other resources, visit www.newbillablehour.com. You can contact Ritu directly at ritu at newbillablehour.com.